Just what does a healthy sense of unease, chronic unease, mean operationally anyway? <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Todd Conklin. This is the Pre-Accident Investigation Safety Moment. I'm so glad to be with you today. Well, you've heard it a million times. In fact, it's kind of a cool, trendy thing to say. A healthy sense of unease, chronic sense of unease. Uh, People need to always feel a little scared, a little nervous. That's what creates safety in a workplace. Let's talk about that for a minute, and let's just do it for a minute. We could go on for hours on this, baby, but let's talk about it for a minute. All of these Kind of clever quips. These these operational ideas all really tend to move in one direction, and that direction is is that uh, organizations that are especially safe, teams that are especially reliable, teams that are really good at this. One of the things they do is they keep the discussion of risk alive all the time operationally. That's what a healthy sense of unease means. That's what chronic uneasiness. That's all those things. All those things are really code words for this notion that we're keeping the discussion of risk alive. You know as well as I do, and, and the research around this has been, a, it's, it's old, it's been around a long, long time, and it says that the more times you do high-risk work safely, the less risky that high-risk work will appear to the operator. The, the, the fancy term for that is called risk homeostasis. You normalize to risk, and, and we talk about all, you've done it. You, you're listening, if you're driving in your car right now, You've normalized a lot to the risk you're, you're, you're encountering even as you speak, even if you listen to this podcast. That notion of risk homeostasis, that's normal. That's not unusual. I'm not even sure it's bad. In fact, I think it's probably more good than bad. What we want to capture is not making everybody paranoid and not making everybody scared because you don't want workers that are afraid of risk. You want workers that are good with risk. What we want to do is build a system that actually allows us to keep the discussion of risk alive. And, and the way that manifests itself in real life, what happens and, and where you see this is organizations that are actually really, really good at managing high risk, often emergent work, do so by believing they're not good at it. So if you talk to a really reliable group of people, a group of people that just has no injuries, no catastrophic failures, no giant production losses, and you say, wow, you guys are good at this. How do you do it? Chances are really high that what they're going to say back to you is they're not good at it and that they all process information all the time and and that they had a near miss a couple weeks ago and five years ago they had a bad event. What that tells you is not that they're being humble, although they're probably being humble. What it tells you is that they're actually in a belief system that allows them to keep the discussion of risk alive. And and that's what you want to think about when you think about your pre-job briefs or your JSAs. They don't scare workers, but they also don't bore workers. What they do is they help identify the things that actually provide the highest level of risk. And that, that is a chronic sense of unease. That is being very mindful. That is fighting against risk homeostasis. That is keeping the discussion of risk alive. Think it over. It's really important. I hope you get what you need. That's really important to me. Hey, if you uh, haven't picked up a copy of uh, Workplace Fatalities, it's available any place you buy books. Uh, The movie... I think it's coming out soon, but don't wait for the movie. The movie is not nearly as good as the book. The book's way better than the movie. And I've had some nice comments. Uh, I I get a lot of emails, and I got an email from a guy who said, thank you for writing this book. It finally helps me have an argument with my bosses around the fact that prevention is simply not enough. And that's that's kind of the point of the book. That's what it's all about. Until then, my friends, learn something new every single day. Have as much fun as you possibly can. And for goodness sakes, be safe.